What's up guys? Today we are running through a high level Muay Thai catch and throw. It's something you've seen San Chai do time and time again, but it's one of those techniques. If you try and muscle it, or if you miss the little technical points, you will not be able to get it down. So today, let's run through this amazing sweep, which is one of my favorites. What we're working on today, guys, is catching a round kick when we didn't have you know, the ability to catch it correctly first. So ideally for me, if Rach throws a left round kick at my body, I want to do that, or personally, I want to get the arm across. That means that I'm not taking that full impact there. But if I'm too slow and I realize, oh shoot, she's going to kick my arm, I don't want it to stay here. Go ahead and just blast it. I don't want it to stay here and take that. I might as well trap it. So as she kicks towards me, I trap. From this position here, I can't do too much without hollowing out my stomach. So I'm going to pull my stomach back, and now I've got the kick off to the appropriate side. That means that the outside of her leg is exposed to my body, not the inside. When the inside of the leg is exposed to my body, it gives her the opportunity to drop her weight and come with the punch. It's the same thing when I catch a front kick. I have two ways I can pull, this way or this way. I always want to pull across. So when she throws this round kick at me, and I've trapped, I hollow my stomach out, and I scoop it through. Now, when this round kick comes, we don't want to have to make a snap decision in the moment. Is she kicking at head level, body level, shoulder level? Shouldn't matter. If I keep this hand here, and my other hand comes across, I can catch at all heights. She throws down to my hip, I catch. She throws up to my head, I catch. It's the same thing. Don't worry about changing your technique. Now, that's the easy part, catching the kick, and maneuvering it through, that's the easy part of it. You can get that down, that's great. Now we have to move into the more advanced part of closing the distance and actually executing the sweep, which can put somebody upside down and on their back. Very mean sweep. Make sure if you're doing it at the gym, you don't just do it on your first day full power. This is more like a 50% effort kind of thing, so you're keeping your partner safe. If you're in the fight, go for it, full power. So Rach throws the left round kick, I'm in my stance, I catch it, I scoop it through. From here now, what I want to think of is a scissor, basically a scissor technique. That means one arm is going to push one direction and the other limb is going to push the other. But if I try and execute from way out here, make yourself decently strong. It's very hard for me. That's, with all, that's pretty much all my power. It's very hard for me to knock her over. What I can do to make myself more powerful is close the gap. I get closer to her. So once I've caught the kick, pulled it through, and I decide, okay, it's time for me to execute the sweep, my front leg takes a little step in. And you might be going, well, what, the, what that means the guy can punch you now. Well, sure, every time you move in for something, the guy can punch you, but more likely than not, this guy's more worried about protecting their head. And they're worried about me punching. So they're not worried about punching back. So I take that step in, and I put not my glove necessarily, but even more up to the elbow, right in the face. Now from here, instead of using my foot to sweep down low, I put the upper, or sorry, the lower thigh into her hamstring. Now from here, if she tries to fight me, before she couldn't do anything, or sorry, before I couldn't do anything to knock over now, can you fight me? Mm. <laughs> you can't fight me on that one. <laughs> All right, so the round kick comes. Where to? Same one. The catch, the hollow out, the step forward, the arm in the face, and then boom, you can execute that takedown, no problem. One of the big mistakes that people make is they try to maintain that distance. That distance is no good. Get tight to your partner and think not kick, but knee bump. You're gonna knee bump them right in their hamstring and that will send them over. Now let's talk about how you can get more proficient at actually being able to execute this. If your go-to block or go-to catch is very different, it becomes very hard to actually get this technique off. So what you can do to start is just have somebody throw the technique at you. She just throws it and I work, okay, catch, sweep through. We do that a few times. Catch, sweep through, sweep. But again, executing it like that 
probably means you're never actually going to be able to get it off. What we want to do is make things a little bit more dynamic. So maybe I say something like, okay, you can throw this at any time you want, but you can also jab any time you want. So she starts off and she jabs me. She's surprising me. I'm going, okay, block, 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 block. And whenever she wants, she executes that kick. And then I try and get my sweep, get that motion down, I'm trying to close the distance as much as I can. And then maybe we do something like, okay, you can add low kicks. So I'm trying to work the blocking. I'm trying to get that low kick off. And then whenever she wants, she can go, <laughs> she can go up to the head. Look, when I'm here, remember there's no massive rush. You have this guy here. If she tries to escape, it's not the easiest thing to do. So you have that split second where you can take that, okay, what's the technique again? Or distance them properly, or off balance them, or something. And then when you're ready, you can do the step in and go for the bump. <laughs> and hold on for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> this is always a fun one to do when you have nice padded floors and you don't have to control your partner for their own safety. Or if you're going against somebody very small, I do this with the kids when I spar with them. I catch them, I bump them up, and then I just place them down to the ground. You don't place me. <laughs> well, you're, you're not quite light enough for me to place you there. I'm talking more about a little guy who weighs like 100 pounds. The first time I ever executed this sweep, I'd practiced it, practice it, and then somebody threw at me, I went, oh, okay, boom, ba boom. And when I got that knee into their hamstring and I pushed them over, they did almost a re reverse 180. And they came down onto their upper back and got the wind knocked out of them. The first couple times you do this, play around slowly and understand how efficient, how dangerous this sweep actually is. Because it might not seem like it, but sweeps and throws can be very dangerous for your partner. You wanna make sure that you're not just throwing them without understanding that, because we need safety. You start hurting all your training partners, you start damaging them, you're gonna have nobody to train with, nobody will want to work with you. Play so nice. keep in mind, yes, you have to play nice. And this one here, very rarely when I'm training, if I'm in even a hard sparring session and she throws at me, very rarely will I do more than that. That's usually where I stop. But if I have somebody who's high level, then I'll give them a little bump just because I know they can fall safely. So guys, I hope you enjoyed just getting to see a little breakdown of that technique. It's one that I've been successful with in fights and many times in sparring. If you guys want more fancy takedowns, more on catching and executing kicks, you can make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, make sure you're around here. I put videos up every day, lots of great content. Until next time, guys, train hard. We'll see you back here soon for another video.